Hey guys, so I'm going to be guys. We're going to be reacting with Jessica. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Kali Diaz's Oppression of Muslim Women. Guys, let's get straight into this. Can you clean up the supposed suppression of women in Islam as an ideology as it stands in the way of many proper people's um, exposure or to Islam. Let, let me just say this, that I invite every person, I invite every woman here, every non-Muslim woman here, to stand to the side when we leave here and talk to a Muslim lady. I mean now, Let's not, let's, not, let's not ask Barbara Walters about how Muslim women feel. You know, let's, let's not ask Tom Brokaw how Muslim women feel. Let, let's not ask CNN, ABC, Fox. Let's not ask the, the London Times or the Australian Times. Let's not ask non-Muslims about how Muslim women feel, how they live, what are their principles, what are their challenges. If you want to be fair, ask a Muslim woman, ask my wife. Ask my mother. You see, ask a Muslim woman that knows her religion, who has a relationship with her creator, who is stable in her society, understanding her responsibilities, her relationships, ask her. And after that, I think you should be fair that you don't need to ask someone else. But the problem is, no one really wants to ask Muslim women. We want to take pictures of women in Afghanistan and pictures of women in Palestine and pictures of women in Pakistan and pictures of women over here. And we want to listen to what people say about female circumcision as if Muslims has got women, 1,000, 10, 30,000, 40,000 Muslim women all over the world is being circumcised. Some crazy Steven Spielberg stuff. And let me give you a statistic that you should know about. If you, take a, if you take a quota in this room right here, I'll tell you this. Most every Muslim woman in this room will be a college graduate or is a college graduate or is very intelligent and very much socially endowed. And within her family structure, we find that women control the wealth more so than men. Now, what does that say to you? Now, where you find, where you find women oppressed, women exploited, women mistreated among Muslims, that is because those Muslims themselves are not representing the principles of the religion. And in every religion, you've got black sheep. This is but then again, you can't tell me that the 148,000 prostitutes that walk the streets in the UK or the 76,000 prostitutes that walk the streets of Holland that have licenses to do so, you can't tell me that all these little young, naked little girls walking around Australia with no clothes on, you can't tell me that they represent liberation. You can't tell me that the 2,350 abortions, murders that take place with these young women 
You can't tell me that that represents sophistication. You can't tell me that that represents liberation. You can't tell me that a naked woman sitting on a chocolate bar, a naked woman selling everything, toothpaste, everything, you can't tell me that doesn't represent exploitation. So let's put things in context. Let's talk about things correctly and let's be fair and let's be objective. We can talk about that a little bit more if you want to. And let me give you one more statistic. One more. Prostitution, venereal disease, abortion, and pedophilia and this horrendous number of children being raped and kidnapped that exists in the Western world. It is almost unheard of in the Muslim world. Yeah. So I think that the statistics kind of like speak for themselves. I feel that by the movie thing, um, I forgot the name for is Freedom. I forgot the name of the movie. That's why like, it is being like suppressed, and people don't really want the movie to go viral. But well, the movie has already gone viral. And I feel what he said correct. If a Muslim woman who practices religion who fear God, they feel you removing that hijab is actually oppression. They want it on, like they want to be covered, and they feel you telling them that. I don't understand. I don't know why people feel opening your body makes you sexy. To be honest, it don't. Sometimes it is attractive, but it makes you cheap. To be honest, if we'll be honest, and I love when yes, Zach and I say that if we're giving no Mufti Meki said if we're giving an open food and the food that is covered, which will you prefer? Like it's pretty obvious. Everyone wants for the closed food that they are pretty sure that maybe flies haven't pecked on it and stuff. So they want the covered food. But right, what do you think about this? Okay, first off, I really want to know. So they give license to prostitutes. Yes, guys, like <laughs> that, that call like I was shocked. Like I thought that was an illegal stuff. I don't really know yet. Well, is it true? Like, I want to know. To like, myself. this is the first time. Like, because I always feel it's like not like illegal. So, why would they be giving? It's not a profession. Though it, they get money from it, but like, it's not meant to be allowed. You get yeah. So, why would they give license? I don't know. We live in a very, very confused and complicated world. <laughs> But guys, tell us what you think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let us know how you feel, guys. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.